Hi, I'm Katie Gates, and welcome to The Whole Agenda, tips to help you learn, heal, grow, and live your best life. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to talk about something that we all face and something that a lot of us are still facing. I think it's just a part of being a human being. It's something that we go through at some point in our lives, and some of us face it on a daily basis, and that is a doubt especially self-doubt. It's something that we all have faced or will face at some point in our lives as human beings. So let's talk about it today and understand why and understand why doubt and self-doubt is something that hinders our process of growth. So I want to read something very quickly from my book, The Good Poet. Seeds of doubt may be planted. However, They can only grow when watered. So seeds of doubt can be planted and they become planted by the things we've seen in our childhood, the things we see every day on a daily basis, the things people say to us, the things people try to do to us, and just just something within ourselves that plants seeds of doubt. You know, um, past experiences, Different things like that are things that plant seeds of doubt. So they can only grow however, like they're planted there, like they're, the hole has been dug and the seed has been placed and covered, but those seeds of doubt can only grow when we ourselves, not other people, but we ourselves water them. And how do we water them? Because we start doubting in ourselves. We start believing the doubt that we've seen, that we've been told, the doubt that has happened to us. So that's how seeds of doubt grow when they're planted. But listen to this. People will doubt you. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. However, it's not up to them. Ooh, that's the key. It's not up to them. It's up to us. Because seeds of doubt sprout when we water them. Listen, people can doubt you all day long. They can say you can't do this or you won't do that or you'll never be this or that. However, those seeds of doubt flourish or they grow when we start believing them, not about what other people say or do or think. We control our own thought processes. We control our own lives. So people can doubt you all day, every day. There's a lot of people that do. I'm going to be real with you. A lot of people look at you and say, well, he or she will never do this. There's no way they can do that. They'll never be this or that. People do it. It's the sad, cold truth, but people do that. But I like to say people like that are people who truly doubt themselves, and they may not have much going on in their own lives. So they look at other people and they speak negatively over those people and they start painting that that picture of doubt because that's what they want to see. And sadly, we deal with a lot of people like that in the world. But however, let's pray for them and move on from them and understand that we are the ones No one else, not mama, not daddy, not sister, not brother, not friend, not aunt. No one else is responsible for our own growth. We are. Now, people do play a part in the way we grow. But it's still up to us to choose, okay, are we going to play, are we going to let the part they've played um, affect us in a negative manner or in a positive manner? So am I going to grow in a positive direction or am I going to receive backward? So that's how we handle that. But I can tell you this, just because I've seen it, people, other people outside of ourselves don't have to kill our dreams. We do that for ourselves. There's more self-doubt walking around on the face of the earth than any other doubt. You don't have to worry about your neighbor or your frenemy. Frenemy. (laughs) Sad but true. Or your frenemy or, you know, whomever your acquaintance. 
your coworker doubting you, if it's already within you and you're walking around doubting yourself, that's where things like anxiety comes from. A lot of us are dealing with anxiety because we're too worried about what other people think or, or what other people may say or what they may do. That puts anxiety on us because we're too worried about what someone else may think about us or if we're going to fail. I like to say you only fail when you stop trying. I can't tell you all how many times I have tried at something and tried at something and it just did not work. And I'm asking God, okay, God, what is going on here? I'm seeing everybody else around me and I'm very happy, genuinely happy for them. And they're doing this and they're doing that. And my cousins are doing this and they, you know, did that. And I'm like, Father, I'm being true to you. I'm, I'm, I'm working really hard and I'm believing and I'm having faith no matter what anybody says to me or about me. I'm still keeping my vision like you told me straight ahead and I'm still pushing through, but yet I'm not moving. I'm not making it. I'm struggling this and that. And I remember saying all of these things and having that prayer with God. And I'm like, what is going on here? But then I learned that I only fail if I stop trying. And because I pushed through that self-doubt, right? I pushed through it. I kept the faith because that's something else that we have to have. We have got to have faith within here and up here to push through self-doubt or doubt, period. Because doubt hinders and kills more dreams than a frenemy ever could. That's a good quote. (laughs) Doubt kills and hinders more dreams than a frenemy ever could. Because that's his job. Doubt does its job extremely well because it doesn't doubt itself. That's another good one. (laughs) But it's true. I'm laughing, but it's true. Doubt does its job extremely well because it does not doubt itself. It comes to hinder us. So when it comes to doubt, in order to push through the worry, the anxieties of doubt, we cannot what are those seeds of doubt that were previously planted? Like I said, whether it be from childhood, you know, from everyday stressors, things people have said and done to you, um, those things plant seeds of doubt, but they can only grow when we water them. If you're standing in the mirror every morning and you're looking in the mirror, you may not be saying it verbally, but you're thinking it, oh, I'm not this, I'm not that, and I'm just this, and I don't look this way, and I can't do this, and I'll never do that. You're watering those seeds of doubt that are already within you. Because to be honest, we all have them. They're there just sitting, waiting for sunlight. And guess who's the sun? You are. I am. She is. He is. When those doubts or those seeds are within us, they're just waiting for us to water them and for us to nurture them and for us to give them sunlight. But when we have enough faith to look in that mirror and say, I am good at this. I will do that. I will accomplish this. And I don't care what anyone says or does or thinks. We're no longer watering those seeds of doubt. We've stepped into the power of faith We've stepped into our own power and the will of God. And that's when growth, positive growth and a positive direction starts to happen because we don't want to regress backward. We want to grow up and push forward, right? So let's stop watering those seeds of doubt. Believe in who you are. Believe in who you were created to be. And if you don't feel like you are where you should be, I've said this before, there's always a way to get to get there. There's a right way to get there. If you don't like what you're doing, change it. If you feel like you don't have enough education, go get some education. Position yourself 
where you believe or feel you need to be in order to reach that dream or that goal that you're trying to reach. That's all it takes. There's always a way. And don't let, well, you know, I'm broke, stop you, or I don't have the money. Research it. We're on our phones hours and hours each day. Let's get off of Facebook or social media and let's start researching some viable ways that we can make things happen. If you want to accomplish that dream or that goal hard enough or bad enough, go after it. Don't let anything stop you. No one else's doubt and not your own either. So I love you all so much and I do not doubt you. I can promise you that I'm believing in you like I'm believing in myself. And I know that together we will learn many things. We will heal, we will grow, and we will start living the greatest life that we can. Start becoming the greatest versions of ourselves that we can. So once again, I'm Katie Gates. I am the author of The Good Poet. This amazing book right here, it's available on Amazon. Just look up The Good Poet or Katie Gates and it will pop up for you. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are someone who's suffering from doubt, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell because I try my best to upload every Wednesday and the content is extremely valuable, extremely valuable. So I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.